All right, this morning I'm gonna be making what I think are the best oats I've had. Um, I really like the mix between hot and cold uh, and different textures in food. So uh, I was trying to find a way to layer the oatmeal. So there's like a, a hot layer on the bottom of oatmeal and then some type of separation then like cold milk. So I figured out if you brulee the top of oatmeal, you get this nice little crust and you get this crunchy thing and the sweet textures and uh, it's just overall pretty good. So um, I'm gonna show you how to make my brulee oatmeal. Uh, you don't really need anything special. All you need besides, all you need is your normal oatmeal recipe. Um, in addition to that is you just need some white sugar to brulee and a torch. So, uh, and also some milk to add to the top. Um, so if you have oatmeal recipe you like, just use that. Um, and then you need the sugar and milk and then a torch. Uh, but I'm going to go through with my oatmeal recipe. Um, if you just want to skip to the part where I brulee it, I'll add a time so you can skip ahead to that. Um, yeah, so let's get started with my oatmeal. Uh, I use steel cut oats, um, not the quick cooking type. And I start by, let's see, I start by toasting them. So I toast them for a little bit till they're brown in the bottom of a pan. And then after that, I add the water and everything. So I'm going to add about a tablespoon of butter. I'm making two servings. So I'm going to melt the butter. Uh, for two servings, I'm going to use a half a cup of oats. Let me get that. I'm going to toast these until they're lightly browned. I could also add salt here, but uh, I haven't really noticed much of a difference by leaving that out. Once these are toasted, I'm going to add the water. Uh, for this recipe, I'm using, let's see, one and one, one, and one half cups. Uh, I like my oats kind of dry. Well, for this, you need them kind of dry. And I also like them kind of chewy. So. If you want it softer, go a little bit longer and add a little bit more water. But you do need it to be dry for the brulee to set up correctly. But I'll show you at the end what that looks like. So, all right, I'll come back after I add the water. Okay, so the oats are toasted a bit. They smell really good. Once you get into toasting your oats, you probably won't go back. So now that this is good, we got the water. So like I said, it's uh, one and one half cups. I got that measured out. Let me double check. Just one and one half cups. Okay. Okay. So you want to cook, simmer this. Uh, just put it on the lowest setting you can. Leave it covered. Uh, make sure to stir every few minutes so it doesn't burn on the bottom. This takes me usually about 20 to 25 minutes. Um, you just got to watch it and stop it when it gets to the texture you want. So I'll come back after 20 minutes. This is getting to the texture I like. It's still a little wet, but I can add the final ingredients. So I, I add a quarter cup of milk and a fourth a teaspoon of vanilla. Got that. And then, let's see. All right, what is this? One eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. And then, what, the, what else do I have here? Oh yeah, two tablespoons of brown sugar. Let me get that. Sorry, this is a little hard to do one-handed. And that's it. And then we just cook this off until it's a little drier. I'll come back when it's where it should be. I just realized I made a bit of a mistake. It should have been two teaspoons of brown sugar. Um, 
just don't do what I do. Uh, when you make yours, use teaspoons instead of tablespoons. Uh, tablespoons is going to be too sweet with the uh, brulee top. But just pretend I used uh, teaspoons and do that. So I'll come back. This is still boiling a little bit. Or simmering. So this needs to get a little bit drier. And I'm letting it cook with the top off right now. Okay. This is about as dry as it needs to be. You could probably go a little drier, but I'm a little impatient today. So I'm going to use this. Okay, I'm going to put in these. I forgot to mention you need some type of glass uh, glassware that can handle the heat from the torch. So these are little, I think they're called rumpkins. They're used usually for like uh, creme brulees. So they seem appropriate for this. Okay. Try to get all of it in there. These need to be level, so use a spoon to level it out in there. It's a little difficult because how sticky it is. It won't work well with the brulee if it's not level. I take it back what I said. This is about as dry as you would want it. Any dryer is going to get more sticky and it's going to be even harder to brulee. So that's good right there. I like to brulee on top of a bowl just so you, it's a little higher and it's easier to get around. Before I start, I'll usually, so every time you do this, start the fire before you get on there, because if you don't, it'll just spray gas all over it. So I'm going to dry off the top a little bit. So I'm just doing this to get rid of some of the water. Okay. All right, this time it's actually a tablespoon of sugar. So this is why you don't want too much brown sugar, because you're going to add a lot more white sugar. Try to add a nice, even amount of sugar across the top. Okay. So. Okay. Now you want to caramelize this. You just want everything to liquefy. You don't want to brown it too much. So. There's probably better video videos. Oh, so you see that burning? You don't want that. So I got a little too close. Try to get everything. You don't want to see any white. So that's about good. All right. This is pretty hot. Let me get some oven bits. Yeah, should get to. So that's the first one. Let me try the next one. All right. And you want to let this sit about five minutes. So, Alexa, timer for five minutes. Five minutes. Starting now. Uh oh. I I'll bleep that out. I messed up a little bit there. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right, so I'll come back in five minutes and finish this up. Hopefully there'll be a nice little shell. 
All right, so these are settled up nice. Okay, I'll let you listen. Taylor, they have a little show on them. Oh, oh that's the plate. So, I probably could have leveled these out a little bit better, and there would have been a more even layer of sugar, but that's fine for now. Uh, to finish it, you just need milk. Um, I have some freeze dried raspberries, so I'm going to be using that. So I think it'll make it look a little nicer. And I think the tart will help with the extra sugar I put in. So you kind of just want to float some milk on top. You're not really trying to add a whole lot of milk. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is why you try to <laughs> you don't do this on camera. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna try to show you what it actually looks like. So you should have this nice little let me break it. Oh yeah, there you go. So you have that crunchy sugar on top, cold milk, and the hot oatmeal. Okay. Well, you heard the crunch? It was pretty good. Okay. So that's it. Um, let me know how it turns out. I anyway, hope you like it.